Our assembly this morning carries a number of visual images. And of course, you don't know what the year 11 uh, graduation assembly looks like in the summer of 2021, because we're not there yet. But welcome year 11 and welcome year 10 to our assembly this morning. What's important for us to understand as we go about today's business is that we are trying to live those words of head boy, Loughborough graduate, Olympian, world champion, Mark Richardson, which is how to collaborate effectively together and how to radiate sunshine, how to feel warm, how to feel celebrated in 2020 has been a difficult choice, but we come here together to enjoy being with you and with that wider audience on live stream across the country, your parents and friends who are watching this morning. These images we show today create memories, and they are lasting memories. Those little boys you saw in year seven at their science will be the pictures of you taken five years ago this coming summer. So enjoy today's assembly, help it build those memories further, ensuring that you, as you come into 2021, want to be as positive and optimistic as we are for you as members of our academic community. And without much more ado, we need to get on with the business of the day, which is, of course, to celebrate the academic awards. But as Miss Ackland Snow fine painting provided to me this morning as a Christmas card reminds us, underneath everything lies kindness. And we captured a picture this morning of year 11 and our uh, donation to Food Bank, a cause very dear to all of us, but particularly Mr. Bowen, our safeguarding lead, who understands probably more than any of us exactly the kind of circumstances these families are going through that your food donated is going to help. So thank you to those boys, thank you to Mr. Bowen that were able to make this happen. So we now move on to the uh, maths awards and hopefully we have a member of the maths department here, Mrs. Lothian.
Thank you, Mr. Wilding. First of all, apologies to your tens. They're not with us. They're in their classrooms watching virtually. Um, but Dr. Lochran sends apologies to everybody. She's teaching at the moment. So it's my pleasure to be able to announce the Science Prize winners. First of all, your 10 prizes for those in the classroom, and hopefully the teachers are awarding the prizes as I speak. Biology, Jonah Stevens. Chemistry, Oliver Ledgar. And physics, Jack Beaver. So well done to those three. The Year 11s, the science ties, a really challenging set of papers across the three sciences with exam board grade boundaries. So it was the real thing, apart from one or two questions that was left out because the syllabus wasn't completed. So really proud of these boys. Biology, Jacob Allen, Masbutt, Alistair Jessamine, Zach Walton, and Harry Chaplin, Lewis Gabb, and Harry Hogg. Fantastic. <laughs> well done. Jessamine, Lewis Lyons, Andrew Paul, William Paisley, Ash McSheffy, and Harry Hogg again. So twice for some of you. Well done. Right in your ten. Thank you, Mr. Wilder. Thank you. Hello, boys. Uh, good morning. So won't come as a huge surprise to those of you who obviously had your mock results recently or spoken to you in recent days, but huge congratulations to those of you who achieved a grade eight or higher in your English mock exam recently. So list the names on the board. We have got Tom, Pav, Henry, Maz, Matthew, Jack, Tommy, Arian, Will, Luke, Aaron, Will P, Harry, Raf, Ashmit, and Charlie. So well done boys, really proud of you all. <laughs> to our year 10s, hopefully they can hear us. So our year 10 English student of the term, Mr. Thompson, uh, put in a very impassioned appeal for Oliver Ledger of 10C, so well done to Oliver. And literacy prize, yeah, year 11s, don't drop the ball with this, it's all AO1, capital letters, commas, apostrophes, etc. just a quick message out there. Uh, but for most improvements shown with accuracy of his written work, it was Charlie Ince of 10D. So well done, Charlie. <laughs> The history of the academic ties goes back many years and uh, uh, they have tried to stay consistent with uh, the subjects over the years. Um, it turns out that the geography prize morphed from meteorology into a map when it turned out that weather left the GCSE geography program and likewise the English tie changed from last year to this year and I've had to persuade uh, 
uh, Mrs. King, that your English tie is the best set of library books that exist. There might be every subject on there, but they're all, of course, communicating in the written language of English. So wear them with pride. Our next awards then go to uh, the MFL, who have themselves moved from maps of Europe to flags of the country concerned. Mrs. Denton. In year 10, the prize uh, for the star of the term goes to German, Louis Murby, French, Jack Beaver, and Spanish, Dom Lyons. Well done. In year 11, star of the term is Tom Molhoek in German, Eddie Petron in French and Ashmit Seti in Spanish. Well done, boys. Is there an award for those, or is it just a nomination? No, nomination. Thank you. Uh, we had the linguist of the week, and the winner of all those boys is. Next slide should come Charlie Batman in 10 C. <laughs> and uh, the ties for grade 8 in their mock exam in Spanish <laughs> go to Ashmit City and Colin Paisley. <laughs> that all right? Yeah. Um, so in year 10, um, because they have uh, done an exceptional common task uh, already, getting something like 90% on average, we're awarding ties in year 10 to Daniel, Oliver and James. <laughs> and to year 11, who uh, did their mock exams and got a grade 8, that's Luke and Alistair, who has, have got yet grade eight this year, and also Arian and Andrew also uh, had been awarded their ties in year 10, but also, it needs to be said, got grade eight this time as well, so they're well on track. And before you applaud everybody, there's one more term to go, another mock exam, so those of you that haven't got your history ties yet have still got another chance to get there in that mock exam. Well done, everybody. And finally, historians of the term for Keith 
stage four. These are our nominations. Well done, everybody. to these two fine uh, grade eight uh, GCSE musicians. So to Sam Walton and Maz Butt, great performers in the auditorium here as well, you are awarded your music tie. So please come up and collect your music tie. Ten, and Mrs. Payne is coming up to talk to the art department on that. And thank you, Mrs. Payne, for those wonderful uh, drawings and paintings from uh, uh, the cartoons and the films here out there. Much appreciated. Um, so, Year Ten have been working on experimenting with media and techniques, um, and hopefully having a great time with that. And we've got prizes for Will Lawrenson, Luke Bing Maddock, and Rafe Spearing. GCSEs and Henry Brandwood, Raf Senior, and Zach Walton. Hi, boys. Now it's no secret that if there was ever a struggling. Um, industry, it's theatre at the moment, um, and it has not been an easy term for the GCSE students. But I'm very grateful to say that they have been working exceptionally well, and we don't award ties for year 10 because they have not done enough work, and we always leave it until they've produced some work in year 11. So it's with high expectations for the end of uh, 21's results and with pride that I can hand these ties over to Luke Lyons, Lewis Gabb and Tommy Evans. So um, our rest this year, amazing, uh, amazing year, great cohort in, in both years actually, um, we had loads of amazing results and I think Dan Greenwood got actually 100% in our um, common task that we had earlier this year, so he's our star of the term this year. Just move on to the next bit. Year 11, we actually had the most academic ties we've ever been able to give out um, in our rest uh, during the time there, um, so really bodes well for the exams in the summer. So you can see there we've got William Paveley, Lewis Gabb, Declan, Matthew, Jack and Luke, just going to pull up and grab your ties. <laughs> for your outstanding work in business studies. So year 10, first of all. Okay, we've been doing uh, lots of work around business in the real world, influence in business, and we have what we call the Reggae Reggae Award, which ranges from everything from amazing ice cream business plans to burger franchises. And those three uh, outstanding year 10s this year are 
Okay, Dominic Lyons, Jamie Shepherd, and Tom Welsh. So well done to those three guys. Okay, and year 11, uh, you had a pretty tough mock, of which uh, many, of you did, whoops, many of you did very well, but two of you were outstanding, and that just sums up your overall work ever since you've been doing business studies with us. So the ties go to Andrew, Paul, and Kasha Fague. Well done, you two. Bolton has asked me to present these awards. So to uh, Lucas Rees, uh, Rees in 10C, well done for uh, doing so well in your ICT this year and in year 11 to Aaron Jane for your performance ICT. Well done those guys. And for technology ties, the technologist is not here but we have James Turrell in 10A. Tom Gregory in 10A, Kasia Feig in Year 11, Louis Griffiths, and those two. So, well done, gentlemen. I don't appear to have a technology tie in front of me, so we'll have to work out where that one is. Probably still being manufactured somewhere in the world. Music. Uh, here's a lovely piece of music. Uh, performed by Sam Walton in Year 11 for us to listen to. jackets carried the players court emblem we felt it was a very good way of signifying to people at a glance from afar just how strong 
boys in year 11 academically were. The ties are, of course, part of that story. And we award today to these boys their academic badge, which is on the table here. And we look forward to them stitching it on their jacket over the small badge they might have to signify that they are academic badge holders in year 11. Please step forward. Arian Jane, your English, Maths, Chemistry, History and ICT are graded at eight or better. Luke Lyons, English, Chemistry, History, RS and Drama. Andrew Paul, Chemistry, Physics, Geography, History, Business Studies. And finally, William Paveley, English, Mathematics, Chemistry, Physics, RS and Spanish. A man with six, so well done. Congratulations, please come and get your academic time. Key Values Awards. Those who best exemplify the four key values of the school, probably more notable now than ever in terms of what they mean for our society. And those who've been judged to have held these values over a sustained period of time receive their key values award today. But always bear in mind that you have played your part in documenting that. This is not just a gift to you, it is a gift from you as well because you've carried out the documentation through your pupil profiles and action plans. So in year 10, bronze awards to Matthias Grundy and Constance Swart. Congratulations. <laughs> year 11, to Giovanni Berto, William Chandler, Josh Crowley, Max Doherty, John, uh, Joshua John Fisher, Thomas Hull, and Alison Jessman. Please come and get your bronze awards which are here. And whilst they're coming up to receive those, move on to the gold awards, which are coming to those boys in year 10 and year 11 who have reached the height uh, that you can at Senior Boys in Year 10. Congratulations to Charlie Bailey, Jack Beaver and James Turrell. <laughs> and in Year 11 to Jacob Allen, Kasha Fague, Ben Davis, Tom Mulhook, Andrew Paul, William Paveley and Johnny Payne. Congratulations. <laughs> Turner now steps forward, I think, to talk sport to us. Thank you, Mr. Turner. A term of a very different kind. Yes, a very different term indeed, but still a lot that happened throughout the term, and I would like to congratulate everyone in year 10 and 11 for making the best of difficult circumstances. At least football was closer to what it normally is. Um, despite the fact we didn't have any fixtures, there was a lot of good effort put in games afternoons. And rugby, yeah, very, very frustrating for rugby players, but we're hoping after Christmas that will start to change. And rowers and sailors as well have been working ever so hard in terms of keeping their fitness levels and their skills levels up. We have decided to make awards based on what we have seen this term, and they are as follows. So for year 10, player of the term from the two groups in year 10. For Mr. Beck, player of the term for Louis, St Louis Stewart, and from Mr. Bowen to Anthony Brett. Merit in sports to Toby Riki and Oliver Todd. Well done. <laughs> the Year 10 Rugby Awards. Players of the term to Mason Jones and to Tom Welch. And Merit in sport to Constance Swart and Lewis Morby. The Rowing Awards for Year 10, the rower of the term, Jack Beaver, 
and the most improved Luke Thing Maddock. And the year 10 and 11 combined golf award goes to Max Milne, also in year 10. I would like to, just in case people are slightly confused about the number of players in the term, and merit in sports, they are for all the different groups. We're not just looking at the A group, we're looking at all the different groups that, that have taken part in games lessons. So, very inclusive in that sense, it's the player of the term for that particular group. For year 11 for football, player of the term, George Grover, Tom Hull, and Jamie Reddington. Merit in sport to Connor Peters, Sam Permain, and Declan Corcoran. <laughs> Mr. Carter did ask Year 11 rugby players that he could defer the rugby awards to next term because there had been so little rugby so far. Obviously, we, we aim to change that next term. Rowing awards, row of the term, Harry Rooney, and most improved, Will Pavely. Sportsman of the Term Awards, um, decision made by all members of the P department, but obviously based very heavily on those who have taken the boys for different sport this term. In year 10, Mason Jones, and year 11, Connor Peters. <laughs> and finally, before I move to the elite sportsman's badges, obviously what we are allowed to do in terms of sports changing all the time from the different governing bodies, and those of you who play rugby will know that's happening at this moment in time, um, and also from the government. So we are waiting, and we will be flexible with changes for next term, so please be aware of that. Obviously, the ultimate aim eventually is to get back to fixtures, boys, because that's what everybody misses, uh, yourselves, ourselves, and I'm sure your parents, but that will happen at some stage in due course. Of the Elite Sports Awards normally take place a term later, but we'd like you to actually start to make those awards now and for you to have the chance to wear them for longer than normally you do. We are well aware, and this was an extremely difficult conversation that the five of us had in the department, that these will not be the only four winners. Yep. There are others that we are now very, very close behind. So really it is up to you in the coming term and beyond to actually stake a claim for an elite badge. Okay? But the award winners at this moment in time will Keylock, Ben Morgan, Connor Peters, and Raf Senior, if you'd like to come and collect your badges, boys. today to um, talk about three boys. Well, let's talk about Will first, that are joining the senior prefect team. Will, in a room that is uh, full of academic excellence, as we've heard, stands out. He has such a thirst for knowledge and a drive to know more and learn more that all his teachers say that he's just a, a joy to work with, a joy to teach. So I commend you, Will, for that. But it's not just as in the classroom. I spoke to rowing coaches and they are overwhelmed by your attitude and your commitment. So well done, Will. How are you deserve. Uh, the second boy, <coughs> I'm also very pleased to announce and talk about. From day one, Connor has impressed. Um, he's impressed all of us, really. He is a motivated student. He works hard. He's uh, ambitious. He's a talented sportsman. But what really stands out for me is that he's so considerate, considerate of other people, of you guys, of us, and um, such a leader. So well done. Sam, Sam really is the clear school boy. <coughs> and 
his unassuming way, he reflects all our values constantly, all day, always trying to do his best. He's working really well and enjoying academic success right this term already. He's also probably the school's top sail sailor at the moment. Um, as coaches tell me that he looks after and mentors the younger sailors as well. And as we know, he's a talented musician, always striving to do better, so well done, sir. there so in third place Cole Dodd in second place Ben Coughlin and in first place Ed Miller so well done to all eight entries for all the towers I think they deserve a round of applause well done <laughs> and then on to the main academic house competition so all of those things are taken into account when we add up all of the totals and so here we go So well done. Third place, St. Lawrence. Second and first, we have a tie between Ridgeway and Rowanhurst. So, to break that deadlock, we have a tiebreaker, which is on commendations. So, who got the most commendations? Decides, and it is ready. Rowan Hurst. So well done to Rowan Hurst. So you. So there'll be prizes on the first day of next term for Rowan Hurst pupils and staff. Well done. So we come towards the end of our assembly, and uh, we have extremely grateful thanks initially to you because you've been here doing the work but it couldn't have happened without the reflections of your teachers working with you and my specific thanks of course to Mrs. Seltzer, Mr. Brotherton, Mr. Hudson, Mr. Turner uh, and the admin team for their efforts uh, not just through the term but specifically putting this together to commemorate with you and create these memories. Now, I am surrounded by some wonderful colleagues, and here is their Christmas gift to you, helping us think of somewhere rather warmer than Maidenhead.
final thoughts as we sit here, year 10 in your rooms, year 11 here in the hall. But we have no idea of each other's stories, but what we do know is that sitting quietly in the background, there's a kindness we want to see all the time here at school, and as you go home to your families, you take that kindness, that gift of kindness, through to those families and friends of ours. So thank you, boys. It's a year 10 in your rooms. Enjoy your holiday when it comes. You're on sport this afternoon. Year 11, enjoy yours uh, when it comes, and you're on sport this afternoon. And before then, I think we have your own form teachers with some uh, further uh, small gifts for you to enjoy. So thank you very much, everybody. Good morning. So, did uh, Lucas and Arian?